Hey guys, welcome to this neural evolution of augmenting topologies code along. Today we'll be covering how to train neural networks using a genetic algorithm approach called NEAT. Specifically, we'll be using Unity 3D to create an environment where agents represented by fish will learn how to get food through training of each agent's neural network. We will sometimes refer to the food as light or energy because this project breaks down to the modified light seeker problem. Here is an example of what we'll be creating in Unity 3D. Now, when we start off, you don't see any movement because in Neat, you start off with only input nodes and output nodes with no connections. Through slow evolution, through augmenting of the topology, we create more hidden nodes and connections between those hidden nodes that eventually leads to finding a solution for, that, uh, for our environment. The solution for this environment is agents that are able to chase after uh, light blocks and constantly able to survive. So the white blocks are food or light, which the agents touch to collect. The agents are the uh, spheres of different colors. Now, as you can see, the spheres aren't really doing anything. They're just staying in one spot, not chasing after food, and slowly dying. Some of this one finally evolved over, over what, how many, gen five generations to finally be able to move just up and down. So through this type of slow expansion of the neural network, we're able to keep a mi minimum number of hidden nodes and still find a solution to our problem. Okay, now this is a little slow and it will take some time to demonstrate that this method is actually learning. And by that I mean we start off with agents that are not able to move and over time we will get agents that do chase after light. So, to show that, let's speed up the time. The time scale is right here, and you can get uh, to that by going to Edit and going to Project Settings. Sorry about my... Uh, I'm in uh, Manjaro Linux, and I just updated, and sometimes that's a little buggy. We'll see what bugs we come across. So, you guys can follow along, and wherever you have Unity Hub and Unity is working, you guys can follow along. It's not going to be much different. So, let's up the time scale to 10. Now, as you can see, we're getting more moving. We finally get an agent that is going in circles, and this agent was able to get light. So this agent is surviving a little bit longer, and as you see, the agents that are getting light are at living longer. Sometimes agents are just spawned on light, so they get lucky, and they might live a little bit longer, but there's no way to live very long without movement or actually chasing the light. Now, over time, you guys will notice that some agents are evolve a circular pattern because they can just stay in a circle and spin, and eventually food might spawn around them. The way the food is set up is anytime an agent captures food, it spawns somewhere else on the map. So you'll never run out of food. These agents should eventually be able to live forever. Okay? Now let me pause this, and let's see one of these brains, and let me see if this is working. There we go. Oh, it's not working. There we go. This is one of the brains of the these networks. And right now, they don't really... This is not a pretty way to show graphs. Eventually, I'll be moving the saved networks to Python and displaying these networks in Plotly. But right now, we're just going to use this for the example, okay? This implementation of Neat that I'm showing you, which is the example implementation, actually has errors in it. And the whole reason this code along is happening is because I'm fixing the errors, the previous errors that I made. So, <laughs> hopefully it'll go well. Um, I haven't really looked at this in quite some time. It's been two months since I've looked at this specific project. So, I'm going to be kind of learning as in through this code along so the the whole reason this is not a tutorial and it is a code along is because there's going to be ums and ahs and there's going to be some fumbles so and i because i'm learning i'm going to be trying to catch up on the things that i forgot on this right i just thought it would be a great opportunity to show people and see how many people are interested in something like this in the future if i see like a lot of people are interested or even just some dedicated people are interested i will be more than happy to make a very clean cut tutorial that gets straight to the point and walks through this every step of the way in a organized manner okay 
So that's just a disclaimer right now. This might not be very organized, but this is for people who just want to follow through the code along and see the process. Okay. So yeah, this is the uh, brain of the network that I clicked on of this guy right here. And it's going to change. Um, it's going to change every time because the way that we have it spawning, right? The main thing that stays the same is the connections between networks. You see that we only have three hidden nodes on this um, on this guy, right? But when we look at this guy, we only have two hidden nodes. And that's the whole thing about uh, NEAT. It's the augmenting of the topology, the augmenting of the structure of the network. Most neural networks... Well, CNNs and the normal way to train CNNs, the structure you define the hidden layers and the number of nodes per hidden layers beforehand and train only on the weights. In NEAT, we're training on the whole structure, augmenting the structure and training on the weights through protrusion or however you say that, through a slight changing of the weights. Alright, right. so let's continue to see how these agents do. I can uh, spawn them back up. Anytime I press found best, it spawns the best that we had previously every time an agent lives to the best time the agent gets saved in and in the brain gets saved in a text file and then we can spawn uh new agents from that text file right so when we found that uh, found best the new agents are spawned from a text file okay and whenever the best time is reached uh more time is added so that we can constantly increase our time and keep saving the best one every any agent that makes it to 50 will be saved and then the best time will be 100 then any agent that makes it to 100 will be saved and then the best time will be 150 and so on uh we start off with 20 people we keep the best five we leave the worst and we have no crossover right now because we don't really need it as much but in the future i might in this code along i might implement crossover so now all these are spawned from the best brain of the previous uh, run that we had. So you see a lot of them are acting very similar, right? They're all, they're going to be spinning in a circle, but we'll have, uh, we still have some mutations, which are shown by the different uh, color, right? And need you have speciation and using speciation, we can give these agents different colors to show that they're part of different species, which is also a very cool thing about these. Hopefully we'll cover that as well. I mainly just want to get the augmenting of the topology covered first. Oh yeah, so let's uh, continue this and see how the training goes. We're going to move this up to 20. And we'll slow it back down in a bit. Okay, what? One more thing, which is um, good to note. While in the game, you can't see this. In the um, in the scene view, you can see that there's walls all around the agents. The agents, once they touch that wall, they die. So the agents are not just evolving to catch light; they're also evolving to avoid the walls, right? So we could throw, we could toss these agents in like a um, in a course, and they might still hopefully ideally they should be able to avoid the walls and find food in any course that is the goal but because this implementation of neat has an error that's not going to happen okay now in the but hopefully in the one that we code right now that is our goal to make okay so this when we start off we have 16 input nodes three of them you can see the You see a sensor coming out. Well, each network has three sensors. Okay. Whenever a sensor touches a wall, it turns white. Okay. That's so the sensor for the wall, you have three sensors for the wall. That's three input nodes. And by sensors, I mean raycasts, right? So you have three sensors for the walls, three sensors for the food, three sensors for other, um, other agents. That's nine sensors right there. And then, um, I believe I added extra sensors to this because I wanted some predator prey behavior, but because of the error in need, I wasn't able to get that. Hopefully, again, we'll be solving that, but eh, let's not get too distracted by details.
But you guys can see that they do evolve. They don't just keep hitting a wall. They do eventually try to get food. They do eventually try to survive, right? And that's what you want to see. The best, look, this guy right here. He's going to live longer than all of the rest because he is actually getting food in an area. He's cleaned that whole area for himself. And his network is now going to train to try to get other areas. Or he might, um, no, his network is going to train because we're keeping the best five. And now we're getting agents that are able to clean sections of the whole uh, map, right? The map that they're given. They're able to, they're like uh, street cleaners, you know, getting rid of this light pollution or whatever. You know, it's, uh, to me, I always find this quite beautiful. To me, it's like artwork, uh, almost in a way. Uh, moving art, you know, it's unpredictable. It's is just very nice to look at but event now so we're gonna be trying to make this let's slow this down so you guys can see how the training has went so there's a lot of wasted um energy that is happening right now they spend a lot of time just walking around you know before they actually get to a food and they avoid food sometimes that's right next to them but go for food that their network is trained to get right so it's interesting to watch eventually they're going to be more adrenalized and getting food better and better and i've seen them do really good right now our best time is up to 350 and i've seen them go up to a thousand three thousand so it's just how much time we give for training um i'm not going to give more time now because i want to start on the actual coding and getting the scene and everything ready but yeah, I hope you guys follow along and I hope you find this interesting. We're going to be covering this and we have a bonus section if this goes well. So now I've covered what our main code along section will cover. Now I'm going to cover what the bonus section will be covering.